Lokit, we would argue that the service level is the expected probability of not hitting a stock out, as the likelihood of being able to serve all customers' demand and not lose out on any sales. So is it an accurate representation of how well the inventory is managed? Should we aim for 100%? And what is considered a good service level? A service level is an approximation of the quality of service, in the sense that it gives an overview over how many clients can be served. But service level only tells you about the probability of hitting a stock out, not the actual magnitude of the loss. That is a key difference, because in fact, the stockouts may even go unnoticed. Let's give an example. Imagine you own a bookshop selling books on supply chain. You have a stock of five books, and most often a customer picks up one book for himself. But we have a teacher come in, and he's looking to buy six books. He quickly discovers that, well, we don't have enough, and just leaves. But that isn't even registered. We still have books left, so there's no stockouts, right? But actually, the loss of sales was six units. You may also have heard the term fill rate, which is often used interchangeably with service level, and wrongfully so. Fill rate represents the fraction of demand that is being served. So if there was five customers, four of which wanted one book, and one who wanted to buy six, the total demand is in fact 10. As you only had five in stock, your fill rate was only 50%. But your service level would come out to 80% as one out of five customers was not satisfied. Now, as a business owner, you're wondering what service level you should aim for. So is 100% feasible? Well, in theory, having a 100% service level would mean infinite inventory to ensure no chance of stockouts which of course isn't feasible. In reality, it all comes down to trade-offs between cost of stockouts and cost of inventory, which is the main challenge of all supply chain management. Let's have a look at this graph. We have our service level on our x-axis and our inventory in our y. And we see that the relationship between the two is exponential. So in fact, the 2% increase of service level between 85 and 87% requires a far smaller inventory expansion than the same 2% improvement from 95 to 97, making it significantly more expensive for companies. So how do we find this optimal service level? Well, as the impact of stockouts varies product by product, the optimal service level also varies product by product. Bottom line, always think of the cost of inventory for a particular product versus the cost of stockout. It therefore doesn't really make sense to hit a given service level, but rather aim for minimizing costs and finding the most profit-maximizing decision for your supply chain. The optimal service level will be the result of that.